So I've had my M50 for, oh God, almost a year now. And I had picked it up to be my video camera. I was planning on replacing my T6 with a more professional level camera. And to be completely honest, I'm really happy with the quality of my M50. Uh, this little baby has been just... It's been with me through a lot, and... You know, as a photography enthusiast, it's... It does what I need, and then some. I, could I possibly shoot different shots and better in different conditions with a more professional camera? Yeah, very possibly. But this thing, it shoots great resolution, great quality, love the color, love everything about it. Uh, here's a v or here's a video shot that I'm currently shooting. I uh, just absolutely crystal clear. I, for the record, I don't actually record my channel on the M50. I was planning on it, but I ended up just snagging it as my camera. And so because of that, I'm filming this on a cell phone. So my apologies for that, but. Yeah, this thing has been great. Uh, exposure bracketing works awesome. I Okay, well, while I'm talking about this, I'm just going to shoot a picture real quick. Okay, well, now that that is done, uh, here is the picture of the same shot that I did the video of. Uh, I definitely did some focus stacking, uh, edited it in Lightroom and Photoshop, but as I said, no complaints with the quality. This thing has been great. Uh, the other thing I need to say about this camera is supposedly it is not weather sealed. Uh, I have had it out in the rain. I have accidentally dropped it in a river. It went floating in a river for about a minute. I, I did have a hot shoe cover on it, and as soon as I fished it out of the river, I, I immediately pulled the battery. Uh, I was really scared for about three days while it was sitting in rice, but... You know, after three days of sitting in rice, turned it on, it is working perfectly. That was, uh, oh god, like four or five months ago that happened, and I have shot hundreds of pictures since then, just uh, tons and tons and tons of pictures. So yeah, I, the video quality, I've got nothing bad to say about any of it. I, I don't normally vlog with this camera, so my apologies. What's about to happen is probably going to be terrible. But... Because I'm doing a review of this camera, it needs to happen. So, it's super easy. Uh, you can just click it to video mode. You can choose either manual or automatic. Honestly, for vlogging, I found automatic to be perfectly fine. I, so, just... Set your focus point to where you're going to have it. So I think I'm going to be about there. And... I don't understand this exposure comp... I must have a setting wrong. I, I keep turning on exposure compensation somehow. Not really sure what's up with that. Okay, so this is purely using the kit lens. Nothing special. I... Autofocus, I'm going to set to auto with tracking and here we go okay so now we are now on the m50 i believe i've got image stabilization on if not i'm sorry uh this is also the on-camera mic uh so yeah this is the video quality and audio quality of the canon m50 uh, and honestly it's probably better than what i normally use but as i said i stole this for my stills camera because it is just it's wonderful it does it does everything. So with that being said, I probably shouldn't babble on about this camera for too long. I've probably made this video way longer than necessary already. But to sum it up, even in 2020, even though there's a lot technically better cameras on the market, as a photography enthusiast, I love this camera. It does everything I need and then some and has been just absolutely beautiful. Uh, so I'll show you some other shots I've taken with it and feel free to make a decision for yourself. Uh, the price of $500, if you are just getting into photography, I would say this is the perfect starting camera. Uh, I know everyone says full frame, but I personally don't think the extra like $500 to go full frame is worth it. I would much rather have this any day of the week.
So yeah, if you, if you like this, definitely hit those like and subscribe buttons and uh, check out the channel. I I primarily do uh, landscape photography adventures, but I do do gear reviews occasionally on anything I come across. Because if, if I have beaten around a product, I would like to share my experience with everyone else. But yeah, I hope everyone goes out and shoot a good picture and I will see you next time.